Hello everyone, how are you today? So I'm Simer again. So today my topic is diagnostic text for the respiratory system. So whatever the point I'm going to mention that's very important for the NCLEX RNA exam view, for the Alpian view and for the NORSET EAMS test view. So let's discuss these points. So here I mentioned the chest x-ray. So in the chest x-ray in like uh, we just looking for the location and appearance of the lungs so in the pre-procedure the important points according to the view of the NCLEX that's very important and uh, um, like firstly we need to be remove all the jewelry and uh, like other metal objects from the chest area and also we need to be asked the female like uh, are you pregnant or is there chance of getting the pregnant so these questions are very important because chest uh, like whenever we are going for the chest x-ray or these rays are very harmful for the pregnant woman and also harmful for the baby so these question is very very important we need to ask the client before going for the chest x-ray and um, this these questions are important according to the NCLEX uh, test also so next is sputum specimen so in this uh, the according to the NCLEX uh, exam view this question is always the asking uh, like how we need to collect the sputum specimen so before collecting this sputum specimen we need to tell the client like uh, rinse the mouth with the water before collection and also instruct the client take several deep breath and then cough deeply to obtain the sputum so this is very important and always we collect the specimen before client begin the antibiotic therapy and this is also very important why we uh, just uh, like uh, uh, collect the specimen before begin the antibiotic therapy because antibiotic can alter the uh, culture of the sputum so that's why we just uh, taking collect the specimen before client begin the antibiotic therapy so that's we need to be remember always so next one is bronchoscopy so bronchoscopy is a drug to visual visual examination of the bronchi with a fiber optic uh, bronchoscope so in this mainly we maintain the NPO status for the client from midnight before the procedure. So why we maintaining the NPO status because if anything like uh, uh, like patient can get nausea and he can vomit also and in this case uh, he can aspirate and uh, because in this we are giving the anesthesia and uh, the gag reflex uh, um, like uh, there is a diminished gag reflex and uh, patient can get choke. So the uh, after that the most important line is if any complication arise after the procedure like in post procedure we need to immediately notify the physician. So complication like bronchospasm and uh, bronchial perforation can arise. So this is also according to NCLEX point of view is very important. So next one is pulmonary angiography. So pulmonary angiography is a visualization of the pulmonary blood vessel like we need to see if there is any uh, abnormality or any problem. So in this we just uh, involve an injection of iodine or uh, contracts material like radio opaque material we are using. So the con consent is very important this we need to in the consent also we need to ask for uh, allergies to dye or uh, any seafood and also we maintaining the NPO status. So in this we are also using the sedation as prescribed and uh, in case like patient can also feel the nausea and also feel flushing or salty taste following injection of the dye. So in this very important like in the post procedure we need to be monitor for the delay reaction to the dye and also we need to be have an emergency resuscitation equipment available if anything happen after the procedure. So next one is thoracentesis. In this uh, we removing the fluid or air from the pleural space via transthoracic aspiration. So in this consent is also very important. We also if there is prescribed we just uh, prepare the client for ultrasound and uh, to see the location where the fluid accumulate. And also we just position the client sitting upright or we can place lying place the client lying in the bed on the unaffected side with the head of bed elevated 45 degree. 
so in this uh, post procedure the very important is we need to be apply a pressure dressing and also assess the puncture site for bleeding and also we need to be monitor for the sign of respiratory uh, problems like pneumothorax air embolism and pulmonary edema so this is very important like if any respiratory complication happen we need to immediately um, call the doctor and inform to doctor so next test is pulmonary function test so in this we just evaluating the lung function like uh, how the lung is functioning so in this uh, we just uh, evaluate the lung mechanism gas exchange and acbs disturbance through a spirometer lung volume or abg like arterial blood gases so in the pre procedure what we are uh, doing we just uh, consult with the physician regarding holding the bronchodilator because it can alter the result of the pulmonary function test and also we can remove like if the patient have denture or also we tell the client to wear the loose clothing so in this also we need to be just determine an analgesic can depress the respiratory system because it can also alter the result so in the in this case we need to tell the client like not to smoke or eat heavy meal because it can also alter the result so after the test they can resume all the medication regarding to the respiratory he is taking so next one is lung biopsy so in this uh, we are just identify the any pulmonary lesion like and change in the lung tissue and uh, we just analyzes by culture or cytological examination so in this what we are doing the pre procedure we maintain the npo status obtain the informed consent and also like we are using the local anesthetic and administer the analgesic and sedative as prescribed by the doctor so in this uh, post procedure is very important we need to monitor vital sign also we need to be biopsy side we need to apply dressing and monitor the draining for the bleeding so we need to be assess for the sign of respiratory distress or anything happen like pneumothorax air emboli or other respiration complication we need to immediately notify the physician if they occur so if there is any problem arise we can also go for the chest radiography if prescribed by the doctor so these points are very important so next one is ventilation perfusion lung scan so we are just using the radionuclide uh, uh as a injection for the uh, like just visualize of the lung so in this uh, uh, why we are using like we just evaluate the blood flow to the lungs so pre procedure we need to administer the sedation and in the post procedure very important we need to be monitor the client for the reaction to the nuclear uh, radionuclide and we need to monitor allergies so next is skin test so in this skin cell we just uh, is used to assist in diagnose various infection in this we are just using the injection at the upper one third of the inner surface of the left arm then we circle and mark the injection site and document the day time and test site so we need to be interpret the injection site 24 to 72 to hour after the administration and assess the site also for the any swelling any small blister like elevation and then we need to be inform the doctor if any reaction happen in the arm so this is very important according to the exam so next one is the abc arterial blood gases so in which we just measure the how much the oxygen carbon dioxide dissolve in the arterial blood so in this very important like in the post procedure we need to be apply pressure to the puncture site for 5 to 10 minutes in case bleeding happen and also we need to be longer press the arm if the client is taking anti like uh, um, taking the coagulant therapy or has a bleeding disorder so this is very important so next one is pulse oximetry in this we register or we check how much oxygen saturation client hemoglobin and we use the sensor on the client finger toe nose ear lobe or forehead to measure the oxygen saturation so normal is 96 to 100 percent and lower than 91 percent is need the immediate treatment and result lower than the 70 percent is life threatening so in this we need to take the immediate action so this is also very important So this is all about the diagnostic test for the respiratory system and don't don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and see you in next video thank you and have a good day take care bye